Hello Grade 5s, welcome to our Mathematics, Term 2, Activity 1. From this lesson, we are going to do numbers, operations and relationships. We are going to start with Unit 1. We are going to do some whole numbers, which is also known as integers. We are going to go through some core knowledge and we are going to learn how to order, compare and write four digit numbers. Now remember, numbers can be ordered in ascending or in descending order. Ascending order is from the smallest to the biggest number, while descending order is from the biggest to the smallest number. Also remember that we use relationship symbols to compare numbers with each other, like smaller than, bigger than and equal to. We also get a sign that looks like an equal but it has a little bit more waveness in it and we call it approximately equal to. Remember, you must know how to write odd and even numbers up to at least a thousand. Even numbers always end in an even number. That means 2, 4, 6, 8 or a 0. Odd numbers always end in an uneven or odd number. That means 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. And it cannot be divided by 2 without a remainder. Let's do an activity. You are going to circle odd and even numbers. Let's start with the first question. A. Circle all the odd numbers. The numbers they give us are 68, 91, 26, 43, 82, 37, 14, 83, 25, 54, 98, 17, 69, 40, 55, 70, 99, 22, 81, 48, and 75. Please pause the video and go through those word numbers and then I want you to write all the numbers from them down. All the odd numbers. Then, question B. Circle all the even numbers. Now I know you don't have this paper, so once again, you don't need to circle it, but please go write the answers down. Remember, the numbers they give you, you must circle only even numbers. They give us 38, 57, 14, 45, 96, 29, 60, 72, 31, 20, 62, 44, 97, 82, 10, 56, 43, 87, 34, 78 and 95. Once again, pause the video, go write down the even numbers this time. Then, question K is a multiple choice question. You must choose the greatest even number. Now remember greatest, what it means, and remember what is even. The answers you can choose from are A, 14, or B, 86, or C, 21, or D, 93. Pause the video, choose your answer, and write it down. Then the second part of this question is choose the smallest odd number. You can only choose between A, 71, B, 52, C, 46, and D, 39. Pause the video, write your answer down, and then let's see how you do it. Let's see if you got it right. At question A, the answers, or the numbers you had to write down, was 91, 43, 37, 83, 25, 17, 69, 55, 99, 81, and 75. At question B, all the even numbers were the following. 38, 14, 96, 
sixty, seventy two, twenty, sixty two, forty four, eighty two, ten, fifty six, thirty four, and seventy eight. At question C, the first part, you had to choose the greatest even number. Now, firstly, greatest refers to the biggest. Even means it must end on an even number. That means it must end on two or four or six or eight or even a zero. Okay, so let's start with the first part. Let's look for the even numbers. 14 is even and 86 is even. But we must choose the greatest even number. So which one is the biggest? It was B, 86. Second part of the question, choose the smallest odd number. Firstly, we know it must be the smallest. Secondly, it must be an odd number. Odd numbers end on 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So let's first look which ones are the odd numbers. 71 and 39 are odd numbers. But which one is the smallest odd number? The answer here was D, number 39. Well done, you are a star. Remember to practice your timetables on a daily basis. Goodbye, see you soon.